Robin, take a look at that. Look at this. Why did they have to run that thing? We didn't do anything wrong. Is the hour over yet? I don't believe it. Hey, anyway, welcome to the uh, Howard Stern Summer Show. You know who I am. I'm Howard Stern. Robin Quivers, of course. Who is uh, showing us her new breast implants? That's right. I mean, not implants. She had a breast that. operation. No, I didn't have I'm that. looking at it. This is the first time. Because usually when we work together on the radio, uh, I don't usually see this much cleavage. <laughs> well, that's radio. I did been, this for TV. You've been rather embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. Show me the cleavage. Well, well no. Not We're seeing that. cleavage tonight. Yeah. Very excited there about it. There you go. We have a beautiful show planned. We've been planning this for months now. And uh, I'm not even sure what we're doing. <laughs> Tonight's guests are Jessica Hahn. Yeah. Which I think we have a really cool thing to do to her. We've been planning sort of like a practical joke on her. You're going to like this. Then we got Belzer coming in to do the news with us. Great. We'll be doing a news thing. We also have, uh, what else did I leave out? Oh, the Zodiac Killer. Ah, yes. A rare have, uh... interview with the Zodiac Killer. Right. There's Jackie Joke Page Martling, ladies and gentlemen. Penthouse Joke Page. Penthouse Joke Page. And we have over in the uh, corner here, frightening Fred Norris as well. And of course, uh, boy Gary Delabate. Take a smile, Gary, for everyone. Look at those caps. Oh, God. You got some nerve not having your teeth fixed. <laughs> Welcome to the ugliest television show in America. <laughs> they, what did Larry King say about you? You are quarterback the, uh, of the all-ugly team. Here's Larry I King think he's talking right. about me. <laughs> and then we'll bring out Stutter and John. We have some interviews, too, that I think you're going to like. Who's on those interviews, Gary? Um, Dick Clark. Look how uh, nervous he is. Uh, this is Channel 9, you schmo. Dick. This is nothing to get nervous about. People are freaking out. This is Channel 9. Okay. Dick right. Clark, Walter Joe Mark. Franklin called me yesterday. Oh, yeah. 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 Joe Franklin called me. What did he have to say? Um, he basically said how excited he was that we were coming to Channel 9 and yeah. how beautiful the show is going to be and how exciting it's it beautiful. is. Beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I think it's funny because Steampipe Alley is in hiatus. Uh, I think that's really incredible. Yeah, and I want to say something to the children of America. You're safe now because Steampipe Alley is in hiatus. Well, do me a favor. Before we go on, I'll read the Larry King thing in a second. Just cut into Jessica Hahn's dressing room. We have a hidden camera in there. We're going to freak her out. Oh, this is great. We're going to turn into a mental institution tonight. That's a hidden camera. Uh, I just she want you to see that. There. And look how cool it looks. There it is. That is Jessica Hahn, and we will do scams on her. So Larry King says to Playboy, this jockey Howard Stern once marveled at how a guy who looks like you has managed to score with so many women. Care to tell us how you do it? That's Playboy asking Larry King, okay? Larry King says, it's kind of funny for Howard to say that. He's quarterback of the all-ugly team. <laughs> there he is. Now... I admit, I am not a real good-looking guy. I don't say I'm a great-looking guy, but take that, take that picture of Larry King. Can you put that, like, next to my face? Okay, I admit, all right. I'm not the greatest-looking guy, but can you see that comparison? Yeah, maybe I am as ugly as him. When I, when I, the teeth thing. Yeah. Now, I think he edges you out. I think uh, just by a nose, uh, he yeah. edges you out. I think our noses are pretty similar. <laughs> uh, I had Richard Simmons over my house last night. For, yes, last night was like the... It was Hollywood night at my house. Is that right? Yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. even talk to you about Richard's night at your house. I had Richard Simmons over, and uh, I talked to him about my nose job. Yeah. And he convinced me never to do it. Really? Because he knows too many people who have screwed up their voices. Is that what happened to his? He didn't have a nose job. Oh, you're kidding. That's no, his natural that's voice. His natural, that's his natural <laughs> voice. That's why he talks like that. Because he didn't get a nose job. But anyway, um, what was he going to do here? You want to bring out Stuttering John? Yeah. Okay, I want to go through some. We sent out Stuttering John. Come on out here, John. This is, what do we call John? Stuttering John. Stuttering but I mean, his title, is he a reporter? He's a reporter. Stuttering John. And I like how John got dressed for TV. I like the rings and the, <laughs> yeah. show him your rings. Oh, very nice. Dressed for TV. <laughs> very, very proud. It's nice that they made such a nice set and everything. And then we have John with, uh, his, uh, with, his, with his devil uh, stuff. I even brushed my teeth this morning. All right, good. And he's in, he's in the mood to stutter. I like that. <laughs> All right, so what happened? We sent you over. Gary, come on over and help us out here. We sent you over to the Emerson Radio Awards, yeah. which is uh, a sham, I would say. <laughs> it's, a, a, it's where all disc jockeys get together and give themselves awards. 
Let oh, me see Walter Mondale. That's real good. You know, the only of... reason I would say Alice and Steele, because isn't that... I spit on her. The one where John <laughs> spit <laughs> yeah. at her. He got in the middle of a stutter, and he spit uh, in this woman's eye. All right, watch this. This will come up. Here it is. How are you doing? I voted for you. Good. No one I am can make that statement. I am a Democrat, and uh, too bad that the Republicans keep on winning, but we got to beat them, right? All right, all right. Uh, listen, um, how did you get the name... How did you get the uh, nickname Fritz? My middle name is Frederick. So how does that... How does so that... It's Fritz is a derivative, I guess. Kids call me Fritz. Were you afraid that... Oh, Were you afraid that... Were you afraid that Ferraro would get cramps in office? Okay, I'm sorry. Did Billy Carter ever, 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 uh, ever bomb it in the White House? I saw him. So no, that's all right. I'm not talking about that. No, Billy. You know, Billy went through a. He's dead now. And Billy was an alcoholic. And like alcoholics, he do damn cool things. I think that uh, also he's trying not to laugh at John's stutter. I think that's what's going on too here. Uh, I'm sure. And your stutter gets worse, right? <laughs> well, as you get more nervous. That was the best one. The, 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 no, 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 I hear you. Let me just say one final thing. Could you, uh, could, could you wish Howard Stern luck for his new uh, summer special? Yeah, I wish you luck, Howard Stern, for your summer special. How's that? Thanks, Walter. Can't beat that. Big fan of yours, man. Thank you. Thank Thanks you, a lot. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. <laughs> Very nice. Who else is cool that you interviewed? Um, See, we actually can't get stars on this show. We've, we've interviewed Jessica Hahn now 9,000 times. <laughs> so uh, what we do is we send John out to sort of just... Uh, we go where the stars are since right. they won't come to us. Right. Exactly. Want to do uh, Paul Harvey? Can you imagine John and Paul you, Harvey? And, yeah, Paul. And or you, you, you want to see, see Alison Steele get hocked a Louie? Well, not, not only is Alison Steele good because he spits on her, but they're probably some of the worst questions oh, ever asked. All right, all right. Sure, Check out Alison Steele. Here we go. <laughs> Alison, uh, yes. what's the wildest thing that ever happened to you sexually? while you were on the air. Oh, this is one of Howard's questions. Nothing sexually ever happened to me on the air. Come on, a, a fox this, like you. I have told this to Howard a million times. When I'm on the air, I'm working. All right, now is How it coming up? Yeah. Make love to a Negro. Without getting tired. I don't divulge my private life on the air. Oh, come on, Allison. Oh, what? Come Have on. Have you ever made love to a Negro? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if I were to tell... Look, when someone asks me about me and Howard, do I tell them? No. Okay. She looks like the woman from the Medic Alert commercial. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I've fallen. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> I've fallen <laughs> and I can't get up. Why? All right, all right. I'll get on something a little bit more um, mm -hmm. tender. Do you still use tampons? <laughs> Good. I'm going to give you an award for bad taste. How about that? All right. That's something else. Look, I don't discuss politics. I don't discuss religion. I don't discuss my toilet habits. And I don't discuss my sex life. Now, you can have what's left. All right. Then let me ask you, what's older? Your hairstyle or your teeth? Oh, okay. I'll think to that. Let me think now. I'd say and, uh, my teeth. Your teeth. Yeah. Okay, Allison. I really appreciate it. John, it's a real pleasure. And if you come up with any more smarmy questions, let me know. Okay. All right. Very thank nice. you. Very nice. I've never seen you quite that handsome. <laughs> wow. Good. Good stuff. I tell you what. Why don't we take a break? Come back, and I think we're going to do the whole Jessica Hahn thing. What? Ooh, no, I can sort of see it over there. Yeah, well, what's going on in Jessica Hahn's room right now is we have a television set. She thinks there's television on, mm -hmm. okay? She's watching a videotape on television. She has no idea there's a hidden camera. And now we're going to screw around with it, okay? All right. All right. What's this should be good. Happen? What's going to happen? That's what we have to figure out right now. Bring in David. David, come here. So she can't hear us at all. She can't hear us at all. All right. No, she has no idea. All right, here's the scoop. What do you want to do with her? I want to try something innovative. You got her in there. Yeah, okay, turn off her, turn off her uh, picture there for a while. I'm, 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 turn off her audio anyway. This is David. He's one of the dudes that works on our show. So here's the deal. Right. Jessica Hahn's in the other room. We've interviewed Jessica Hahn a bunch of times, and we basically felt, well, if we're going to have Jessica Hahn on, we've got to do something screwy to her. <laughs> David is about to go into Jessica Hahn's room. I'm like Alan Funt. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> with a demented a camera. camera. That's right. You see, there was a penthouse article that came out, right? Let me set this up the proper way. There was a penthouse article that came out. And in the penthouse article, it said that 
Jessica Hahn had made love to a lot of different guys. Well, here's the way it went. Yeah. A lot of different people came forward after the whole Jim Baker story broke and said they had slept with Jessica. Right. Now, we're going to give her the impression that all of them are here. Right. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I knew we were doing something cool. I just couldn't explain it. Okay. It was just too involved. Rocco Riccobono yeah. and who else? Uh, Rocco Riccobono, Barry. tell her Barry Hawkins. Barry Hawkins, Hawkins. Yeah. That's another guy who came forward and said that he made love to Jessica. And Jessica's always denied that she's made love so, to right. these guys. I'm saying that these people are here. And then if she freaks out real bad and is going to leave, then you tell her to tell her that you're going to get me. Okay. All right. All right. But okay. Right. Jerk her around good. All right. All right. All right. I love All right. This. We're going to see how this works. Then when I go in to see her to calm her down. What should I do? Should I try to make out with her? You should put your arms around her, hug her like you're going to comfort her, and then see how far you can get making out with her. Yeah? I mean, should I go as far as to, like, actually, like, get Let's her clothes see. off? Let's see. Yeah, right. you try putting your hands in right. those... You try to get the bases. Let's see what the bases are. What are All the right, bases? here it is. Wait a second, Robin. Watch your monitor. Hold how on. are you? All right. Excuse me. Can you help me? This has been crazy. Sorry. It's okay. Is everything all right? You look yeah. great. I don't know how I want to nervous going on, but I at least tell you who's here and who the guests are. So the characters. Uh, Richard Bell. No, Richard Bell is here, but he brought some other people. I think like Barry Hawkins, who's in makeup now, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Ian Tumble is like this. Wow, just want to see Barry Hawkins is here. My name is Rocco Rocco Riccobono or something. And this is good. Some DJ with some tapes or something like that. Oh, here. What's his name? The DJ? I don't know. Mark? I'm not sure. I knew that. Yeah. She'll find out. Right. The, the wall is DJ smarter than her. <laughs> 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 so, uh, should I keep it going? Yeah, you should go in there and say, we're going to break, Jessica. Yeah. Um, and we're going to have all these people. Uh, is the, wait, you know, wait, I don't want to. Wait, 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 we're going to the studio. I need my... You know what? I left my glasses in the makeup room. Oh, no. All right, we're all set. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. We're going to be set in a minute. Hi. Hi. You look good. Listen, let me go over this real quick because we're going to start taping in two seconds. I got a great show. I got some great stuff planned. Guess who I got? Barry Hawkins. Barry Hawkins. I got... Hi. Because it'll be so great. You guys can scream at each other. Howard, I don't know. That'll be so great. What do you think? Good? I just found out. What do you mean? Rocky. Ro they found Rocco Riccobono, the guy who says you made, you know, made love to you. And, uh, why are you upset? No, I'm trying to think of how, what, what I want to, the guy that used to sing in his mouth. And the madam who you work for, that, they got her. I know you never did, but she's accusing you of working for her. Do you think that's good? Like three on me. So what? It'll be great. It'll be great television. For you. Yeah. <laughs> Be free against one. I don't have anybody helping me. I'll help you. Baby, you don't know about it. You're all by yourself. I swear to God. It's going to be so good, though. Would you trust me to do it? You don't want to do it? I have to. Oh, it'll be great. Are you nervous about it? I just, I'm not, you know, I'm up against these people. Again. Well, how can they hurt you? Because. You didn't make love to those guys. It never happened, but how am I How come he has pictures, but, but uh, Barry Hawkins has because pictures? Because I used to do pic what kind of pictures? Pictures with you. Doing what? I don't know. He says, he says... All he has is pictures of me at a picnic. He's friends with my neighbors. Really? So I, I lived in a two-family house. We had barbecues. I went out in the yard with them. Yeah. Deal. I'm so nervous about this. You I hope it's great. Really I look good? good? You look the best. I've never seen you. I swear. <laughs> I'm not... Really? All right, would he make a move? All right. Here we go. Jessica, you see this? See that TV? The hitting camera. The hitting camera, Jessica. You know Rocco Riccobono. And I kissed you, and you were going to make out with me. She was going to make out with me, Rocco. She kissed me, and she to give me the tongue. She thought to give me the tongue. She gave me the tongue. I could have had it. I told you. I told you I could have had it. I could have had it. Right now? Look at how he's just looking at me. Look at him.
What? No, don't wipe it off. No. Don't wipe it off. No, no. Oh, this is a stab. Was it funny to watch? Oh, it was. It was great. It was it's very compelling because you were like wondering how far, you know, and then I was like, all right, I wish you'd make a move. And that's when you said, you moved over and said, okay. Oh. <laughs> and you could see great. it? You could it see it? great. <laughs> I was gonna, but he walked in. I was gonna go. You know, I'm really feeling very warm toward you, and oh, no, I need you to perfect. calm me down. It was perfect. All right, all right. She was like right in there. <laughs> oh man! It looked wild. <laughs> I didn't. Somebody walked in. Yeah, David came in, but uh, I was gonna keep going. <laughs> what are you saving, Howard? <laughs> Robin, <laughs> that doesn't look good. What we're talking about is Brother Facts International. I can't hear myself over that music now. Brother Facts International. Oh, I can't believe she went for it like that. Uh, Do I have lipstick all over? Get a close-up. We need to see a close-up. I so could have had her. Yourself. I could have had her. Can, can you see, see what your Who's lips it? look like? Can you see that? <laughs> I started kissing her, and she just started going oh, for man, me. Oh, man. Did she pull you back on the couch? Yeah, she went backwards. <laughs> you just started pulling me down. You always say you could have these. This yeah. time, we all we believe you could have had Look at your face. <laughs> See what I was gonna do is I was just gonna go right, and gonna uh, try. I would have gone I would have gone a little further. <laughs> I would have said I need to be relaxed. Yeah. I would have got my pants. I shouldn't have told her about the camera, huh? No, no, it was good. It was good. Uh, all right, yeah. okay, all right, all right. Well, it you know, we're just work. learning. It we're worked. learning. We don't know what the hell we're doing. <laughs> all right, Brother Fax Machine. This is a sponsor of ours, and um, this is an excellent fax machine. I don't like this sign. Uh, give me a pen. Uh, Monty, this is a perfect, this is a perfect empty space. And come here, Monty. Come close. Uh, Go for a second. Oh no, 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 so talk about a, Brother Facts. All right, Brother Facts. First of all, this is the fax machine I use in my house, Robin. It has an automatic cutter on it, good for circumcision. It has an automatic cover page. Let me show you what that looks like. Here, watch this. Here it is. See this, Monty? Automatic cover page. When you fax somebody, this automatically is programmed in. You never have to make another fax cover, which I think is kind of neat. And also you have a five-page document feed. Mm -hmm. And it's nice. I think it's a nice looking machine. Very And compact. Brother International is like one of the best. I believe. I believe this is one of the best companies. You're throwing your support behind it. I'm throwing myself out a window because I'm the one who suggested we do live commercials on television. And I see it going nowhere. Anyway, it's a great fax machine. You remember Brother. Brother Fax International. And pick up one of these little jobs. And you too can have what I have in my house. A Brother Fax machine. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, available at Staples. Thank you. further with the Jessica Hahn thing. How far do you think you could have gone? Look at those beautiful oh, meeple now. This is, you know, look, he still has lipstick. I'm so embarrassed. Now you I want me, man, and that's all there is to it. Do you know every time somebody says now that I didn't, uh, she, when I say, hey, nothing happened, they're going to go, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> look you at how. It. First of all, you dragged me back on the couch. See, I couldn't no, tell I whether didn't. he was pushing you or you were pulling all right. him. Would you rather me not respond at all? But you were—you closed your eyes and you were ready to get into a makeout session. You had your eyes. Did you have? I would have your I would have your tongue in her mouth. No, we didn't go for tongue. You did it look like. Ah! <laughs> and you want? What would it be? But I was going to go for a full makeout like session. It looked like a full. I was going to have her take off because I think her hand would have been in my pants oh, inside no. of three seconds. No, you know what? Because you were going, oh my God, my dream is coming true. No, I wasn't. I'm gonna I was have going, a guy on TV. I was just saying, oh my God, somebody's knocking and he doesn't care. I said, the door is about to open. I didn't even hear it, to be honest. Somebody <laughs> was knocking and he said, come in. I was like, hey. Jessica, listen, I've talked to you many times. And let me say, your breasts look beautiful. More, more so beautiful. Let me sh stand up and show your outfit because that's really what it's all about. Look, she's you lost a lot gorgeous. of weight. Look at that. <laughs> beautiful thighs. Look how gorgeous she looks. Isn't that your, great? Your diet great? worked. It really worked. <laughs> And Jessica has shown me her breasts many times. I've seen her totally naked in a bathtub, and uh, as you know. But we did bring out some of your ex-lovers. We did. We dug we some We do have up. some of your old friends here. We did. Because we, really we didn't did. feel we could set Jackie, up the audience the like that. Jackie's working. No, what, what come on. You? No, seriously. We, we got some no, of your old please. lovers. So who, who's here? All right. The first so. guy is a guy that Jessica made love to a couple of years ago. This is before the whole Jim Baker thing. 
This is sort of This Is Your Life. Okay, who is it? And his name is Ted. Ted? Ted. I the don't guy who claims him? to have made love to you. I don't know a Ted. Why don't we bring Ted out and we'll just Maybe once Ted. you see Let him, him you'll remember him. Maybe remember Ted. Here he is. <laughs> One of Jessica Hines' ex lovers. <laughs> Welcome, Ted. Welcome, Ted. How are you? It's good to see you. When did you, uh, you, you've been a lover of Jessica Hans? Yes. You have? Yes. And you claim that, uh, that this love affair went on for several years? Several years. And I it see. was intense. Intense. How did you meet her? I met her at the first, uh, church service. Candlelight service. Candlelight church service. Service, yeah. And you just started a conversation with her? Yes. And then all of a sudden she came on to you? Came on strong. Really? Wait, wait, did you leave church and go to a motel? No, we went out to my van. Oh. <laughs> this is the first time you met her you went out to a van. To the van. And how soon was your tongue down her throat? Oh, a couple of seconds. Can you describe? Can you describe? Is she a very passionate? Yeah. Oh, she's very passionate. Oh, about four or five times. Really? Four or five times well, passionate. She was a sex maniac. That is really fascinating. I can't believe it. Do you know? At this point, I can't even defend myself. <laughs> it's like after what happened, they're going to go, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, that was so nice. Uh -huh, so mind. do you want to yeah. rekindle your relationship with Ted now that you see you haven't seen each other? Why not, Why not? Talk some love talk to her. Yeah, go ahead. I, Get her hot again. Get her, show us the way you got road? her hot. Excuse what? me? You want to go play some more road? What's road? Oh, you know, you lay down in our black top in the desk. <laughs> All right, so anyway, Ted, thank you for joining thank us today. You, An ex-lover of Jessica Hahn, all right? Nice seeing you again. All right, now, the other guy that we found that you made love to was Fred, a guy named Fred. This happened, uh, he said, about two weeks before the Jim Baker incident. Two weeks? Yeah, that he met you. Okay. Bring out Fred. Uh, two weeks before the, te the Baker incident. Come on out. All right. What's Back his name? Fred. 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 You're Fred. All right. Hi, Fred. Hi, Fred, uh, how did you meet Jessica Hahn? When, when I was 14 years old, you were 14? she, yeah, she babysit uh, at our house. I what? You babysit me. I, Remember, Jessica? What, what, what's the, what? The, he babysat. You were oh, his babysat. Baby, babysitter. I babysat. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make fun of his speech. I'm sorry, I did. No, Is that what you used to do when you were taking care of him, Jessica? You shut up, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Jessica, crawling across the uh, screen, okay. we have some of your ex-lovers. <laughs> Sam Kinison, the Vietnamese refugee. Andy Bloom, the disc jockey. Okay, so anyway, we have that, oh get that crawling across. Right. <laughs> Tell me something. When um, Jessica and you would make love, describe it. What would she do? Would she now, get you very were 14. hot? Yeah, 14. I was young and inexperienced. She came to my room, you know, and to tuck would, me in. She tucked you in, and she yeah. would, like, would she get very, very hot and excited? Oh, she. Would she moan yeah. and scream out things, or was she silent? Well, at first it was the milk, but when she got excited, she barked like a dog. Barked oh, like boy. a dog, I see. Yeah. Now you, now you say uh, you yeah. bark like a dog. What kind of these? What were these sounds? Like? Yeah, she grunt. Uh, uh, huff, huff, huff. Oh my God! Oh, what did you do? Uh, did you go? You didn't There it is. There it is. I promise never. Why don't you kiss him like you kissed me, Jessica? Don't you want to give her a kiss, Fred, now that you see her again? Oh, I'll be no, last okay, to her. I'll be last to her. Okay. This is TV. Yeah. Very, very, very I mean, beautiful. Well, listen. And throughout the years, I never thought Ann Boy, but you confessed me, Harvard. Really? Yeah. I have no for idea 50... what you're saying. Oh, 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 I mean, there's something about he's disclosing this to you for the first time. You're the only one he's ever told this to. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. I just saw White Lion. Well, you've been left to one of the guys in White Lion. Nice, White Lion. I have all the guys, and I'm one of them now because I easily could have gotten this her. List. You don't have you to read it. Me, and you were going for it, and all you right, made love to me on that couch back there. Can I? All right, Robin. Yes. If if How, or, How, Howard went to kiss you, what would you do? Would you get out of here? You would? Yeah. You would not. <laughs> you were going for it. You were pulling back already. You, you don't were, not. You were, you were going back on the couch. You were ready for it. Right. And do I know I could get more? you. And what's driving me crazy is I really. My wife won't let me date her. <laughs> Do we have any more? No, those are all the ex lovers. I don't want to embarrass well, Jessica. Well, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Jessica, you may want to You've think. grown so much. It's yeah. nice to see you've turned yeah. into such a legitimate yeah. person. You do, yeah. Jessica. Okay. You do. Yeah. acting now. Yeah. This is let Jessica play with the live sure. commercial. And uh, then we'll do the news. Okay. Okay. Now, look. <laughs> Uh, this is one of Jessica's old here's lovers. Our sponsor. <laughs> this is just a cool way to get extra dollars for the television show. This is one of uh, Jessica's old lovers, all right? This is uh, Jessica's lover, Big Dick. Dick Lewis. <laughs> Jessica, you like Big Dick. You want to talk to Big Dick? Here, Dick Lewis. 
Hi, Big Dick. Hi, Jessica. Hi. <laughs> Look at those implants. My God. My God almighty. <laughs> Dick Lewis is watching, and he is watching Jessica's breast right now. That's why he's... What? He's very busy. You're there he is. Trouble handling uh, yeah. Oh, this dick is way too big for me, Robin. I'll tell you that. Jessica, right, Jessica, you can handle Big Dick. Here. <laughs> Take Dick Lewis. You know, Dick Lewis has always stood for one thing. What? For Jessica. Ow, <laughs> Jessica, is that the it's biggest dick you ever? Uh... Ooh, look at where her hand went right. Yeah, look at that. Much. Right. <laughs> Jessica, you want to put your hand away from his? Uh... It is. It's like stuck rubbing dick. You know. <laughs> All right, listen. Dick Lewis is watching, as everybody knows. God knows what he's watching right now. I'm sure he... Maybe... You think he's watching this show? He's saying, why am I advertising He's looking for his show? commercial. That's what he's doing. Commercial. Yeah. Actually, Dick Lewis has always stood for quality and integrity, as you know. And it's the only place that I will buy anything from. Isn't that right, Robin? <laughs> I believe everything you say, Howard. Dick wants you to know he has a lifetime, low-price guarantee. And I respect that. There he is. Look at him. With Jessica. He's watching. Yeah. Seriously, is that is that beautiful to be holding Dick Lewis like that? Maybe he's not too bad looking. No, he's not. <laughs> he's got a nicer nose than I do, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, you know, Dick does have some serious information, Robin. The purchase... Now, I'm going to read this. serious Dick yeah, we're talking about. Serious that. Dick now. See if you can follow this. <laughs> All right. The purchase price at Newmark & Lewis is guaranteed to be the lowest in the market for the life of the product. Now, if you see a lower price in another store, they give you 125% of the difference between their price and the price that you bought it from them. Now, what does that mean? Well, it, listen, <laughs> I'm no genius. In fact, I, got, I think I got a 300 on my SAT combined, so I don't know if I can understand this commercial, to be honest with you. But, for example, if you bought a product from Newmark & Lewis at $100, mm -hmm. and you found it for $90 in another store, yes. they give you a check for $12.50. How do they figure? Or even better, <laughs> I've seen some of the salesmen in Newmark & Lewis, how are they going to figure that out for themselves? <laughs> Or even better, they'll give you a $20 gift certificate to be used at the store. This offer is good even five years from now. Nobody beats the guarantee. Newmark and Lewis, no haggle, no hassle, and everyday low prices that are the lowest in the marketplace. Newmark and Lewis. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> During the commercial, Jessica Hahn fell off a chair. Well, you were trying to grab her hand and put it in your lap. I was trying to get it on with Jessica again. <laughs> we're going to do the news now, and we're going to bring Belzer out. Richard Belzer, of course, the great Richard Belzer, the great comedian. The politically Politically minded active comedian. Richard Belzer, who likes to I don't to know if he's active, oh, yeah, like, but I know he likes really to talk to politics. Him, um, and politics, yet like, like nobody else. Is Bells. <laughs> Here's Bells. <laughs> Matt. I tried. Uh -oh. I tried to get Mr. Hey, T here today, but hi. Nice hey. to see you. How have you been? Good. Lovely to oh, see bells. you. Hey, look how nice oh, bells dress. Very thin bells. bells. Right. A very thin black how Duke you? bells. Like bells, you're a rainbow. <laughs> you look gorgeous. I'm not showing enough. Yeah, Where's the funeral bells? Let's see like, those I'm, nipples. I feel overdressed. <laughs> Let's see those nipples, <laughs> bells. Yeah. How's that? Very few people know that Richard Belzer is a celebrity, of course, in his own right, but his wife. His wow. wife, of course, oh, is a great God. star as yes. well. Uh oh. And uh, we should show some of. She was the star yeah, of Lady. Oh, this is W O R, right? Right. Too. Okay. So, all right. Go okay. ahead. Okay. She's the star of Lady Chatterley's Lover. And Lady right? Chatterley's Lover Two. And Lady Chat. Yeah. Not to forget Lady Chatter Chatterley's Lover Two. The and sequel. Here it is. So nice. They like this the wife. Her name is Harley. Who oh, she is? This is Mrs. Belzer. Yeah, I dig his wife big time. Wow. Not the maid. Up you can't show this on TV. Sure you can. No, you can't. You can bleep out certain words. There she is in the tub, doing her oh, lesbian thing. You know, scene. we have her blocked she out a little bit. Yeah. Well, I'm a lesbian, too. I'm into chicks. <laughs> I married a woman. So beautiful. Look at that nose. Is that a nose job? Oh, she's perfect. Hey, what are you doing to my wife's body? Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, man. What's that all about? You're not showing this on the air, are you? Yes, yeah, we are. Yeah? Yeah. Good. But you know, when I came to this country... Why do, you look, why do you ask that, though? Why are you uptight about that? Your wife's not uptight about it. How do you know that? Yeah, Is she? No, film. not. That's she's how we know. She's much more sophisticated about it than I am. Why are you uptight about that? I mean, if you marry someone who's in a porn movie... It's not a porn movie. Oh, wait a second. Whoa! It's not a porn movie. You never drag any extra women into bed with you? That's my business. She'll be Mrs. Yeah, I guess so. Giving it up? Right, that's enough. That's enough. No, this is a massage scene. I mean, that's enough. 
That's what I said. It's enough. All right, I'll pour it. I guess the you. fantasy I had Look with how it. beautiful my wife is. He doesn't like to be upstaged by his wife. Yeah, no, she's beautiful. Yeah, but the, oh, ooh, wait a second. I can't stop there. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's, that's a body double. That's uh, Burt Lancaster, Lancaster that they're really she's rubbing. She's so beautiful. How did you meet her? They're really rubbing Burt Lancaster there. How'd you get her? How did I get her? Yeah. What a Where did you meet her? Put it. Where did you meet her? A mutual friend, uh, fish I saw, and we went to a speech therapist, and uh, and no. you shared some dreidel soup. We had some dreidel soup, yeah. and then we had a dreidel omelet. She's so beautiful. Enough. She's so. Ooh. We've Ooh. been together nine years and fourteen minutes. The mutual friend was a rabbi that they both know. <laughs> Is that right? He had seen the movie and uh, knew bells from his uh, rabbi different act. Buck Bernstein, yeah, yeah. Western, Western rabbi. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> bells is beginning to look like his wife. Oh, there <laughs> it is. <laughs> Science fiction. <laughs> anyway, you want to do some news with the bells? Yes, might as well do it. We start off with the lighting in lavender of the Empire State Ooh, Building. This is the whole gay pride week. I bet huh? no yes. was Here we go. The, There's the, know, the uh, Empire State, Empire State, State Building. The applause from the group that watched the lighting. Thing to remember, Who's that? Thing That's that Ruth Messinger. Remind us, as it beams bright, mm. is that we are reminded. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's oh. gay pride. Oh. Oh. Who's that? Do you don't think oh. they identify themselves? Just keep yeah, going. Really You're going to see a lot. <laughs> These are some lesbians who are oh. the dykes on bikes. Oh, wait, that one looks pretty good. And then we have a, an assortment. Oh, that's my agent. Hey. Secret Gable was there. Is that her? Yes. That's her tush? That's the creek. She was wearing a see-through skirt. She's very discreet. Skirt. Yes. The way she dresses. I can't believe the Empire State Building looks so beautiful. <laughs> I think King Kong like had douche chills, you know? I can't believe it. Okay, here we go. Uh, ooh! There we go. Some of the beautiful outfits, and here's Na a woman. Oh. be naked. You know, all the women were fat and ugly. All the men had good figures. Why is that, Rob? I don't know. Here's a mm. chance. All fat. I saw one good-looking uh, woman. Those are some guys into S&M, and then the bubble float. I don't know what that meant. And, of course, the usual confrontation outside... St. Patrick's Cathedral. These are the guys who yell. Yeah, could you rewind that a little bit what are so they we yelling? can uh, yeah. see what they're yelling. What are they yelling? Homo? <laughs> Dykes, homo. Some Dykes. Dykes, homo. Who's <laughs> this guy? What's wrong with these people? He didn't have anybody write any material for him. That's where Dice Clay gets his material <laughs> for. <laughs> Morality, age, death, homo. We don't want it. <laughs> I want to interview that guy. I want to track Africa. him down. What does that mean? Whoa. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh, the black flag. The reason we're all here at the gay pride parade anyway. The fact that people are dying of AIDS. I think those guys are just tired and don't want to participate in the parade, and they just jumped on the They're just float. exhausted. They're exhausted. This is some float. From all the, from all the fun. <laughs> Interesting. Ten anus years? What? Ten what? anus years? Ten anal years? What no, the hell? Years. That's what it really says. Ten anal years. Yeah. That, huh? oh, I don't know. Goodness, that's a gay pride oh, parade. Oh, boy. What about hetero pride? Yeah, yeah huh? Let's parade down yeah. the street. Howard, how, we should air our stuff. You know, I can't believe I fell for that. Go ahead, but continue. You knew that the camera I was on the whole time, didn't you? Did Kiss you? Your bells. Stop playing with my leg. I'm kicking your leg to make you say the camera was on. What are Howard, you doing? I'm right, leaving. Here we go. Is to I'm take a break? Oh, is that it for the news? <laughs> yeah, we usually do that during commercials. I want to thank I'm Bells leaving. and Jessica for coming by. <laughs> that was pretty nice. We got a live commercial? We're a good team. All right, good. Yeah, we good. are a good team. All right, we're going to yeah. do something. We're going to do some Snapple. We're going to do some Oh, Snapple. I love some Snapple. It's a sponsor of ours. Do we snort it or drink it? Oh. I think we'll just uh, show you some Snapple. Some of the Snapple products I've been talking about on the radio for years, and now they're a sponsor of ours on television. You get to see Snapple. This is Snapple Diet Iced Tea. Bells, you want to show? Oh, you already have one, I'll Jessica. Try, try the ice. I drink the lemonade, Howard. I like all right. tea. Let me Why show you something on the bottle here. Awesome. This is all natural, natural tea. They don't add anything to it. They don't add any sugars, any preservatives. No fat. What's this? <laughs> no sodium. Contains orange iced tea. Contains vitamins. Oh, it's flavored, so that must it be real orange. Vitamin C. No fat, no sodium. It's perfect. No soda, right? That's no, right. right. I anyway. drank about forty-seven. Okay. Let me say something about this bottle of fruit punch. See this fruit punch here? This uh, has no artificial coloring in it. This is all the natural color of the fruit. Of the fruit. <laughs> the natural color of the fruit. They told you to make that move when you wanted to emphasize so something. Snapple asked me to take off my glasses when I make this very <laughs> important point. So anyway, here it is. Snapple fruit punch. All of their drinks are natural. I've been drinking them for 15 years. And look at them. And look at me. 
Beautiful you could look hair. like this, Beautiful too. Hair. <laughs> hey, Jessica stole my hair, dude, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, she did. We yeah, noticed really. that. Yeah, really. That's not right. <laughs> Almost stole my you mean, hair. Like, I, I have the same hair, do, or what yeah, are you talking You stole my hair, dude. Well, I want to be like you, honey. Yeah, yeah. I could be like you. And she too. can't have you. She's going to I, look like you. Yeah. And uh, as a matter of fact, Jessica drinks Snapple. Seriously, tell them. <laughs> because I it, drink Snapple. I do. This is actually really good. I've been drinking this for about three years. And it gives her energy for all those sexual it calisthenics. There you go. So get yourself some Snapple, 100% all-natural Snapple. We'll be back right here. And uh, right now we got the Zodiac Killer, I think. Oh, really? Yes, I think we're ready for the Zodiac Killer. A lot has been said about the Zodiac Killer in the news, Robin, as you know. I there didn't he know is. he had been found. There he is. Well, hello, baby. How you doing? Yeah, this damn be the Zodiac Killer speaking. Now, what MBO size? Now, let me... <laughs> uh -huh, I'm full of astrology and voodoo. Let me I'm going to put a spell on you already. I killed five people today mm, because I am angry. Let me ask you something. Yeah, let me talk to you. Me. What I find amazing is, mm. now, they drew a composite of you in the paper. Yeah, that's right. You look identical to that <laughs> composite. It's not amazing. Fact, well, that's why like I'm angry. That's why I'm drama. killing people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm angry because I look like that dummy Mark McEwen on Channel 2. Yes. The Weatherman. Yes, you should yeah, be angry. It could be worse. I could look like Bill Cosby in that movie. What that movie? Goat Dad? Ghost Dad, not what Goat. What he play? A goat Dad? Why can't I look like Billy D. Williams? I put a spell on you. I'm full of horoscope and rage and horror and astrology. Robin, mm. Robin, unlimited budget on this. My name is the Zodiac Killer. My African name... What is your African name? My African name is Umbutu. Robin, why does the Zodiac have white arms? You're so right. Yeah, I don't understand that. I am very Unlimited confused. budget. They'll never... They should be... He should be easy to find, actually. He's got a black face and white arms. I'll kill you. I don't have to stand for this. I got a voodoo rage. I stalk you with my magic spell. I put a spell on you. All right. You know why about... I got a little Polish in me, so watch out. I kill myself. Don't laugh. You could be next. All right. <laughs> I kill my victims based on the signs of the Zodiac. Yes. Like if you is a Gemini, uh -huh. I cut you and shoot you twice. I wanted Saturday Night Live's makeup guy. Ah. <laughs> nobody, nobody was all for that. This is close. This is close. Very so close. It looks like the guy. It looks nobody. like it. You know, you look a little like Jesse Jackson, I think. <laughs> Can't nobody catch the Zodiac Killer. Ooh, we hired a legend. Robin, we hired a top Xerox guy <laughs> to actually do this uh, segment for us. Around the Zodiac we go, where I stop killing nobody knows. Zodiac is killing the jokes. <laughs> 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 All right. No, hey, you know what? You're, I think I know your sign. I'm getting. You know, I, I hear you can look at people and know their signs. I think I know your sign. Your sign is exit because <laughs> I, wow! I want you to go now. Thank you, Zodiac. Yes, the great Zodiac. Oh, yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> that, you actually? How did you get a hold of him? I got a hold of him. I uh, cut out that picture in the paper, <laughs> and I brought him in, and that was the end of it. Well, we still don't know who the Zodiac Killer is. No, we don't. We oh, really boy. don't. It's... Well, you know, we have a bunch of pictures. Of? We could actually take the composite of the Zodiac. Yeah. And put up some pictures and see if we can figure out who the Zodiac is. Ah, good. Okay, I like that. I All didn't right. know about this. This is cool. <laughs> Here we go. Right. Let's try Al Roker. <laughs> yeah, he does look like Al Roker. Wait a minute. <laughs> a put some glasses on that guy. Yeah, and... Ooh. This, too, could be close. <laughs> he's right. already wearing stripes. I think he's ready to be arrested. No. <laughs> Zodiac or not, Robin, arrest Arsenio. <laughs> ah. For those gums alone, he yeah, should be right. arrested. Well, and if the Zodiac would smile, we could see his gums. See <laughs> with, uh, that would Arsenio. be a tip-off. He's been very smart. He has not smiled during any of these shootings. Yeah. And Fred Barry. Oh, rerun. Hi, hi, hi. Ah. <laughs> You know, I haven't seen him in a long time. Hey, absolutely. Hi, hi, hi. There he is. Fact there you go. Is. Well, uh, I don't know if we found the Zodiac Killer, but all of those people should be questioned. I have a little presentation here from Hackensack Ford. Okay, here it is, Robin. Ready? Okay. Is Come here, Monty, with that camera. Little logo. Like the logo? Hackensack Ford Mazda presents A Day with Andy Photos. Andy Photos is the guy who runs Hackensack Ford. Yes. Okay? And uh, there's a picture of Andy Photos right next to the Hackensack <laughs> Ford logo. Very attractive man. Okay, that's uh, Hackensack Ford Mazda's logo. Now, all right, here it is. Each day, that's Andy Photos. Each day, Andy gets up and ready for work. Ah, all he right? sleeps in a suit. That's right. Isn't that nice? Look how good he is. 
That's his, after his big night with Jessica Hahn. All right. Well, here you go. Once at the showroom, Andy really has a way with his customers. Uh -huh. Isn't that nice? Isn't that a beautiful thing? She's like vomiting, I'm sure, during this photo. And let's see who else we have here. We have, if you need financing, Andy can find it. That's Andy Photos. Okay. All right. Looks like John Belushi before the speedball hit him. See, right there. Yeah, Carlos, right there. Oh, yeah, do. man. Oh, just one more. One more hit <laughs> of that Coke. Okay, here we go. Under Andy's watchful eye, the service department always gets the job done right the first time. And there he is, the big baseball bat that's about to go. He's greasing up the bat for that guy. <laughs> the guy pulls down his pants, and Andy's ready. That's in the service department. Remember, for the best service, selection, prices, and everything else, Andy's personal commitment to your satisfaction. Nice guy. Nice looking guy, huh? <laughs> Gary, I think he shares your teeth. <laughs> All right, and they'll do whatever they got to do to make a deal at Hackensack Ford Mazda. Minutes from the GWB at 320 River Street in Hackensack, New Jersey. There it is. Very beautiful presentation, I think. Very professional. Well, we got a lot of money for it. Anybody know what uh, Andy Photos pays for a live commercial on the TV show? I sure hope he's satisfied. <laughs> end up this show with a letter we received okay. from one of our fans. It says, uh, Dear Howard, I'm a big fan, but every time I call, it's busy. He tries to call into our radio show all the time. He says here he can blow smoke through his eye, and I thought that'd be a good way to sort of end up this. Well, Howard's that's turn. one way to get to meet us. Yes, we will do that. You want to meet us, you blow smoke through your eye. And I'm sure this is some kind of bogus thing, and I haven't seen it. We don't set anything up. Now, what you're telling me is he smokes a cigarette or something? I don't know. I think no. he sits on a chimney. And <laughs> I'm not sure what it was. All right, he was, here he is. This guy right here, he was rejected by the University of Georgia, Robin. <laughs> What'd you get, like a sunburn or something, my, my man? Yeah, it up on my All right, clothes. sit down. You did that today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you say you were rejected by the University of Georgia? I find that hard to believe. <laughs> I like your Charles Manson beard and mustache, my friend. Oh my I was going to say, could his hairline come down a little further? Oh, get close to the microphone. Hey, what is that, a wig? Nah. Is that your real hair? No, it's not the do. It's the fact that his hairline almost meets his eyebrows. I yeah, find that fascinating. That's pretty weird, man. You're the missing link. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, All right, when listen. did you discover you had this talent? I don't know. Don't don't treat him seriously, Robin. <laughs> it's like eating a piece of chicken, you know. Tell when, him about the first time you nailed you Jessica Hahn. <laughs> Talk about that. What do you mean? You can bl you, What do you do? You light up a cigarette? Wait a minute, I'm fascinated. It's like eating a piece of chicken. What's yeah. like eating a piece of chicken? Blowing the smoke through your eyes. Yeah, How is that? I can't remember when you ate your first piece of chicken, sir. I can't right. remember when I, I blew it through my eye. I remember when I ate my first piece of chicken. <laughs> I remember yeah. when I first blew smoke through my eye, Robin. It was like 15 <laughs> years ago. When did you... Do you smoke a cigarette? Yeah, I, I don't smoke, but, like, I just breathe it in my mouth and... Blow Are we going to give a eye. demonstration? Or are you going to drag this out? Can you put a quarter in between your teeth? <laughs> Look at that. What's going on there? I think I can. All right. No, seriously, come on. Give me a demonstration of you blowing smoke through your eye. It's a good way to end. All right. Oh, goodness, I didn't know what he was doing. You, have a cut. You, you sit rather straight. Is there a medical thing going on here? No. Nah. There's nothing up your back. Where are you from? Chichester. It's right there, uh, Philly. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take your time. I don't want to rush you. Yeah, I know. I don't want to rush That's right. Throw it down on the set. It only costs $15. Go ahead. <laughs> there he is. This is Kenneth Keith Callenbach. Three names. Just like Charles... All right, here it is. <laughs> Nelson Ryan. Nelson Manley. That's your mouth. That's, That's your mouth. Oh, yeah, hold on. Oh. I just got to calm down. Maybe he thinks his eyes is mouth. <laughs> oh, here it goes. Maybe that's... You know when they play that game with kids and they say this is your mouth? They, they confuse him. Yeah, right. No, uh, look. Here comes your the... mouth. There's your eye. Do it, dude. Uh, here comes, All right, here, here we go. The big one. Here right. we go. Hold on, hold on. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. I haven't, did this. I haven't did this in, like, years. Yeah. Calm down, dude. Uh, he can cry, to... Howard, but I don't see any smile. I haven't did it in years. Is the idea that you're going to force it out your eyes? Yeah, here it goes. I have to get sucked for You know, maybe that hole that was in his head closed up. <laughs> you're going to date Joni Maven. We're going to see the children you produce. <laughs> he has uh, cancer of the retina, right, by the way. <laughs> 
jeez. He can't do it, and he's going to... He can't do it, can he? I did it, man. Hold on. Oh, easy, easy. Easy way. I did it, man. Oh, no. I got to leave. Come on. I did it, man. Oh, he's blind. Oh, You're oh, gonna be. You keep doing, wait, man. Wait, wait, wait. You're gonna hurt yourself. Don't do it. Wait, easy. Oh. You gotta pass out. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I haven't figured wait. out. Yeah. The smoke converts into tears. Yeah, 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 wait, smoke wait. turning into water on our show. Yeah, well, good. Do, me, do me a favor. Get your Raleigh coupons together. Buy a seeing eye dog. There it goes. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. Next time. Get out of here with that. No. At least you got yeah, to talk wait, to wait, us. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. All right, why don't you try one last time? Yeah, we we'll allow give him one last time. I was sort of going to go out like a real good production yeah. thing. Wait yeah, a second. I have to look. <laughs> Where's the cigarette? Dude, what do you do for a living? I uh, deliver mail. You deliver mail? You're a mailman? Yeah. Oh, he just delivers mail. <laughs> I deliver mail. Wait, is this hurting your eyes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hold on. All right, all right. Oh, my God. Hey, you got to look real close. Wow. All right. Oh, you really know it's coming up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Hold on, man. <laughs> Oh, I'm Something's gonna come out, Howard, but it ain't smoke. I'm sitting here till it happens. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even smoking. How's he gonna get oh, yeah, smoke yeah, out through his eyes? He's got snot dripping out of his oh. nose at this point. Hold on. Ask Jessica, because yeah. she saw him blow air out my eye backstage. I'll ask yeah. her later. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, well that's I'm pretty here. good. All right, man. Well, you okay. tried. I tell you what. You know yeah. you're nervous. Would I you come back it. next time and sure. try and work, work it out a little? Because your eyes yeah, are turning all red. Yeah, I'm going to have to it up because I haven't been <laughs> All right, man. Okay, listen. Uh, so there he is, Kenneth Keith Kallenbach. If you're watch missing, him. If you're missing any mail, <laughs> uh, you'll understand. Uh, the people of Chichester must be very proud of you. Hey, what's your sign, dude? Uh, <laughs> oh, Flash up that picture of the Zodiac Killer. I want to see if he looks anything like that. We have to do that. another test. Man, I'm a little nervous. Okay, anyway, so till next time, uh, get together with us every Saturday night at 11 o'clock. Are we doing that? I think so. Yeah, well, who knows? <laughs> and, After uh, this show, I don't know. Yeah, okay. And uh, we'll see you next time, I guess, all right? Okay, bye.